Hey everyone, it's Renee. So for today's DIY, we're going to be making this bed ring that can be used all year round. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is sketching my bed. For that, I'm going to grab a piece of cardboard and I'm just going to kind of mark what size I want to go for. And then I'm just going to go online and search for an image of a bed and I'm just going to pretty much copy what I'm saying. And this is how my sketch turned out. Once our sketch is done, we're just going to be cutting the image to make it easier for the next step, which is going to be easier to handle. Make sure to measure before going into a next step to figure out if that's, the, if that's the size you want to go for. For my next step, I'm just going to be putting my piece of polymer clay, my bath on the top, and I'm just going to start cutting it with my X-Acto knife and just doing it by steps. And this is how I cut in those kind of gaps going um, real slowly and just kind of like working my way in pieces or just in parts by separate. You're gonna get to a point where you want to remove your bath, your cardboard bath figure to the actually polymer clay figure for the next steps and for that, that's how I'm just going to peel off my cardboard. And now, again, working with my toothpick to just smooth anything before baking. And sorry about my thumbs, they look kind of horrible and just super dry and just disgusting. But hopefully that doesn't distract you much. And I took one of these ring pieces that I got from the craft store and a piece of foil. And I just made this, um, I don't really know what it is, but just to um, be able to hold my ring and my piece of polymer and clay, which is my bed, when I bake it. So I'm just going to be baking like the whole thing. The reason why I decided to put my ring and place my bath, my polymer clay bath, is because I wanted it to bake with an angle. I'm using epoxy glue, then I'm just going to let it dry and set. Then it's time for me to paint my bath and my ring and the whole thing. For that, pretty much it's optional, whatever you want to use, but I'm going to go for this gold color that is called Winner's Take It All. It's by um, Maybelline and I love this shade of gold. So I'm just going to pretty much paint the whole thing, my bath and my ring. And then I topped it with my matte top coat. I actually did a review on this one in my channel if you want to check it out. And yeah, I painted the whole thing, like the whole ring and everything in gold. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share this idea of this ring that you can use for Halloween or all year round. It's pretty much up to you and kind of like your personal taste. So I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share this video and like it. And happy Halloween if you celebrate it. Bye guys!